What's Cooking Fall River. My name is Megan. And I'm Sharon. And we are nutrition educators with UMass Extension Staff Ed Program. And we work in Fall River and other communities throughout Massachusetts, helping families stretch their food dollar. And today we have the kale and feta salad. So kale is a really great vegetable to have. It is in season a lot throughout Massachusetts, That's so right. we're lucky to live here. And one thing I noticed is people may tend to shy away from it because it is a little bit bitter if you eat it raw. But I think the salad is a great way to start incorporating it into your family's diet because there's so many different things you can do with it. Sure. You can put some fruit, make it sweet, different dressing. So first off, how are we going to chop our kale? Well, like Megan said, um, kale is very hardy. It's rough. It survives the winter. So it comes, it's, it's rugged. It has this nice big mm -hmm. spine on it. So what we want to do first is I'm just going to take my knife and go right along the edge of the spine and just kind of get rid of that. We don't, we don't want this part. It'll be very difficult to chew. It won't be very pleasing at all. We've kind of gone ahead and chopped some ahead of time. Um, I'll just show you real quick, just some little bits. You can, you can hear it. It's such a sturdy green. You can really hear it going, my knife going right through it, okay? But this isn't enough to make the kale palatable for us to really like. The kale needs to be massaged a bit. And not so it's relaxed, but just so it becomes <laughs> a little easier to chew. So I'm just going to add the smallest amount of salt to my kale. This salt is abrasive, and it will break down that kale, making it a little easier to eat raw. If we were to cook the kale, we could skip this step entirely. What's up? What else goes into our salad, Megan? So after we have a half a teaspoon of salt, we are going to work with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Okay. And kale is a great source of potassium, fiber, your a vitamin, vitamin K. K. Yeah, so it is a great, and it's low calorie too, so you are getting those nutrients that you need in your diet for very low calorie. So definitely something you want to be incorporating in your diet. And after we have our vinegar, we are going to lead to one apple cored and diced. You can pick your favorite type of apple or whatever other fruits in season. I know, I think I've had it before with strawberries and walnuts. That's also a really good way to have a... I bet pears would be nice yeah, in here. Yeah, so whatever is best for you and your family's food preference, food taste. Mm -hmm. Then so once you mix that, we're going to do a third of a cup of feta cheese. Feta cheese is nice. We add a little bit of dairy to our, our salad. It has a little bit of a salty tinge that kind of really nicely complements that sweet apple. Then we're going to do a quarter cup of currants into our salad, too. Again, a little bit of sweetness, also some texture to the salad, too, which is really nice. And so all of our produce has been washed beforehand, so it's an important step to make sure you do before you start your Very recipe. Point. Yes. <laughs> and believe it or not, that's how simple it is to make this kale salad. I'm going to show you just a little. And there it is our kale and feta salad. So we hope you enjoyed our kale and feta salad recipe. If you did, please take a picture if you make it, and you can share it using the hashtag cookfr, and you'll be entered uh, to win a cookbook.